My name is Brent Baker. I'm the uh, founder and CEO of Tri-State Biodiesel. We've been in existence about six years and we've been collecting cooking oil in the city for uh, about almost four years. We're here at our headquarters in Munts Point, Bronx. This is our administrative offices as well as our rendering facility and truck depot. So this is the place where all the cooking oil that we collect in the city and in the region uh, gets consolidated and cleaned up and then shipped out for biodiesel manufacturing. We leave the office about 6 in the morning, we go to our first restaurant, we take the hose off the truck, run them down to the basement, sometimes we carry the oil upstairs. We'll suck it up with the hose, then we go to our next stop and do the same process, and we do that all day long. Then we head back to the um, Bronx, and we got a big tank that holds like 6,000 gallons. We have three of them tanks, and we dump them into there. We take all oil, because everything, every oil makes a good biodiesel. Just have a longer process of cleaning it out. Once they're done with the shift, they'll uh, they'll come in here and uh, hook up to our incoming uh, filtration system and load this uh, raw cooking oil and fats through our system and into our raw oil storage tank. Filtering out bits of French fries and chicken bones and. Whatever got into our truck, it's all organic solids, so it's actually good stuff for the mix of some fertilizers. We process somewhere around uh, six or 8,000 gallons a day here at this facility. It works great as a heating oil. I mean, it's really the, the easiest application in the world. So we take this, this waste product that at one point was either animal feed or landfilled, and we're making a, a sustainable fuel, something that instead of wasting it, throwing it away, we're making something that has a second life, a second use. Tri-State goes out and they collect the oil. Tri-State then will load that oil into a truck. That truck, which today we're using Hart, Hart will go and pick up the oil from Tri-State, deliver that to Northern Biodiesel. Our guys grab a sample, we test the quality, ensure that it is what it needs to be, then we just bring it into one of our holding tanks. Feedstock has a value based on what's in it. So the first thing we do is water testing and a free fatty acid testing. As you take any oil or animal fat and you cook it, you heat it up, by default that oil will start to develop these free fatty acids. Those free fatty acids actually turn into a soap on us in production. So what we want to do is we want to eliminate that or have as small amount as possible. We take alcohol and our catalyst, we combine that with the oil. The oil and the alcohol undergo a chemical reaction in the presence of a catalyst. That oil it actually will drop off glycerin and will be replaced with the alcohol. Our alcohol is a methanol, which makes it a methyl ester. That's the chemical name for biodiesel. From that point, it goes into a reactor vessel where that reaction takes place. The biodiesel then, free of that glycerin, will come off the top, we'll hit it with another 10% of what we need to force the reaction to completion, to make sure we have a really nice, clean reaction. That reaction happens on a smaller scale in another reactor vessel. From that, we go into all quality. The quality consists of making sure that we get a really good wash, which removes a lot of impurities, metals, etc. And then the next step is a distillation. The distillation removes all of your free water, free methanol. At that point, you have a really nice, clean, spec quality biodiesel. Once it's in our finished holding tanks, we can, we can either fill rail cars for customers or we can fill trucks. We, we can accommodate any customer, big or small. We wanted to make a, a New York connection for biodiesel. All of that feedstock is from New York. All the biodiesel is made in New York, and all that biodiesel goes back and is consumed in New York. And that's when we come back to that sustainability, that localized focus on, on what we want to do here, and that's collect and supply uh, our customers a New York product. We work with uh, Tri-State Biodiesel, uh, Northern Biodiesel, and Ultra Green Energy Services in Chicago. Uh, we, we wear three different hats. We own the uh, transportation, the bulk transportation company called Hot Trucking Corp. And Ultra Green Energy Services has hired Hot Trucking Corp to pick the uh, raw product up, the yellow grease, and bring it back to New High Park. We also own New High Park Oil Terminal. New High Park Oil Terminal is hired by Ultra Green Energy Services to offload that yellow grease and pump it into a, a rail car. When the product comes back as uh, biodiesel, it is brought into New High Park Oil Terminal and our other company, Hot Petroleum, which sells heating oil and biofuels to uh, the consumer uh, gets involved at that point. The product is loaded into a separate tank. It's maintained at a certain temperature so that when it's uh, blended with either diesel fuel or with heating oil, uh, we don't have to be worried about any, any type of product gelling up. It's all computerized, activated, 
So if a driver comes in and he punches into the computer, which is called an AccuLoad, he'll punch in uh, what type of blend he's looking for. It blends, takes a certain amount of product from one tank and another tank, which would be 20% biofuel and 80% uh, heating oil, and gives us uh, a B20 mix. At that point, once the truck is loaded, he just uh, goes about what his normal uh, deliveries would be for the day and just delivers it like he would be delivering regular heating oil. We sell a lot of uh, B20 heating oil. That's our main uh, retail fuel business. It's 20% biodiesel mixed with 80% uh, number two. We, we don't have anybody screaming at us that seals are blowing up. We don't have any uh, problems with gelling. People are scared, you know, hey, if I change, you know, my, I want to have my heater working. Uh, you know, that's very important. I keep my family warm. And so people are scared, and, and that's legitimate. But the fact of the matter is, that if those folks would talk to any of our customers or any of the customers of the other uh, several companies in the area that sell bioheat every day, none of those customers are complaining at all.